uh, in fact uh, uh, you know most of what uh, i'll be uh, covering today is uh, uh, is is a little more on the um Ashwin, uh, thank you uh sorry are you all able to hear me first uh, yes now me... much better yeah it's... okay i'll i'll just hold this closer <clears throat> um yeah uh, so I, i'm going to uh, you know use the material uh, i'm going to use the material uh, that was uh, presented in the apc uh, christian professionals meet uh, which we had online recently so if uh, you have uh, attended that uh, this will be a good refresher and if you haven't uh, uh, you know i hope uh, this is uh, useful information uh, just give me a minute while i share my screen um okay uh can you all see this yes sir thanks okay um i hope you can see the full screen you can see the full screen right yes yes yeah yeah yes yes okay okay good um so uh, uh you know uh, roshan asked me to share some something about uh, some some practical uh, tips about uh, those who are in the workplace especially uh, how to navigate uh, through this uh, season and uh, i think uh, you know because of my field uh, the field that i'm in uh, uh, one of the biggest questions that uh, those who are in the workplace Uh, possibly have our uh, you know what how is this current uh, job market situation and uh, uh, you know is this a good time to 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 make a change uh, or job change uh, and uh, you know also uh, you know during this time there are uh, various actions that organizations are taking uh, in terms of layoffs or big cuts and uh, you know various actions they are taking um and how can i be prepared or or, or if it happens to me uh, if i am one of those people how how do i respond uh, so these are some questions that uh, you know that have uh, that have come up uh, so uh, i want to just address uh, a bit of this um, and uh, i don't know if you have a time for q and a or, or maybe even after the session uh, feel free to reach out if you want to speak further about this um so Uh, just the, just the first part of this uh, question you know uh, how is this job market situation uh, is 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 it the right time for a change uh, and so uh, this scenario is uh, is really unprecedented uh, i'm sure uh, any of us um, who are on this zoom uh, meeting today uh, you know i don't think any one of us would have seen uh, economically a situation like this in our lifetimes uh, i have personally been through uh, two other uh, crises uh, you know job market uh, crises uh, now uh, you know even the last global uh, downturn that we had uh, people said that was that was really bad but you know <laughs> if you look at uh, this current situation this is unprecedented we've never had a situation like this i i doubt any person in there uh, uh, who's working right now in their work uh, career they, i i doubt anybody has gone through a, a crisis economic crisis as big as this or or the one even the one that is shaping up you know the one that is coming uh, uh, coming up uh, because of this um, but uh, you know thankfully uh, we are in a, a good country uh, which uh, uh, you know thankfully has some uh, uh, good policies and also uh, you know the the kind of uh, uh, the kind of um, situation uh, economically that our country is uh, poised in uh, this uh, we are in a better place than even certain western countries uh, so i i won't get into a lot of uh, depths about this uh, but just want to point out some uh, aspects here you know we've seen a lot of news uh, happening around a lot of bad news uh, okay things are 
not going to look good uh, there are some uh, good news is in between sprinkled in between maybe you know things will be good for india uh, and things like that so uh, as i said you know uh, this is a scenario that's still developing and we need to uh, watch uh, how this is and and sort of prepare ourselves so I, i'm not going to uh, you know tell you certain specifics about some industries you can read that in the news and and know more but uh, some just uh, uh, overarching uh, uh, kind of outlooks uh, you know in in terms of industry definitely uh, you know think about the industry that you're in uh, if it's uh, uh, something like uh, uh, travel tourism obviously you know the outlook uh, or or the, on the brighter side on your on pharma or health care kind of industries or if you cater to those industries uh, the outlook is good um those who are in it uh, again uh, there are certain emerging fields in it uh, like cloud services and things like that uh, and uh, uh, it uh, that is going to support uh, certain emerging industries itself um, you know like for example the the home education industry so that's now a, a huge industry that's coming up you know people uh, are consuming education Uh, online more now so you know if your it services is supporting these industries definitely uh, you know these are uh, outlook uh, uh, industries with, with good out- outlook and uh, uh, you know there are similar other industries so if it's entertainment online entertainment or digital marketing uh, things like that those are you know other emerging related uh, industries that, that look good uh, and so uh, you you might want to shift Uh, if you are if you are uh, if you possess those skills uh, or if you're really uh, at uh, the start of your career or even if you're you know going uh, in college and you're thinking about uh, what career to pursue you know at least for the start uh, the next 5 years these kind of industries look good uh, to uh, to sort of invest in and uh, and do more so you can think about that Uh, if you are in uh, uh you know a, a smaller company uh, think about uh, moving to a, a bigger company that that is able uh, to handle uh, such storms uh, you know uh, mostly generally speaking i'm not saying specifically uh, about the company that you are in but generally you know uh, startups may be a little more strapped for cash Uh, and so uh, if you are uh, uh, you know trying to make a career move now you know, it's better not to uh, look at a startup uh, you know look for a medium sized or a, or a larger company uh, also it looks at uh, you know think about what stage of the of your career you are in so if you are in the start uh, of your career uh, it, it's still okay to take certain risks maybe if you want to suddenly make make a decision to shift uh, it's still okay i'm not i'm not advising you to do that but if you if you really let to do that it's still okay to to make a shift uh, based on the trends that you're noticing in uh, in the new new normal so to say you know um, so i uh, think about that and uh, yeah this is a huge factor i i, I want to uh, you know dwell on this a little more in uh, in a few more moments about personal agility and your appetite to risk uh, so uh, it's it's the way you have an outlook towards uh, your career or the things that you should be doing now, i'll talk a little bit more about this um okay uh, now the, the the whole reason uh, why i uh, you know spoke about this is not for us to get scared uh, there is a lot of bad news uh, moving around uh, it's important for us to uh, you know really guard our hearts and the, the bible calls for us to guard our hearts uh, the the verses that are shared there uh, proverbs 22:3 and uh, uh, proverbs 27:12 uh, they're talking about how the the wise see danger and take cover but the simple keep going and suffer the consequences so it's it's really a call for us to uh, to you know look look at what is ahead and and that might require some extra reading from your side it might require some extra research 
from your side about what's happening in the market. Uh, so it, that's a good thing to do. Uh, so this brings uh, me to a concept called VUCA. Uh, I'm not sure if you've heard of this before. Uh, it's an acronym, uh, V-U-C-A, okay? And it, st it stands for uh, volatility, uh, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. It was actually coined by the US Army, I think uh, sometime in the 80s because of the new kind of warfare that uh, they had to go through. And uh, this uh, is a term that uh, has been adopted in business because just as unpredictable uh, and, and complex the new modern battlefield is, uh, businesses, the business scenario is also volatile. It's, it's uncertain, it's complex, it's ambiguous. And uh, you know, with a lot of disrupting uh, uh, features that are coming up in our uh, economy. Uh, these, this is uh, things that uh, uh, that is a reality for us. You know, some virus somewhere uh, in 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 a country is today affecting the whole world. Uh, and in fact, in the in in, in February, we, we knew about this in in Jan and Feb. Uh, we just, uh, you know, we were. Probably even, you know, to say a certain, we had a certain level of pride that, oh, that's happening somewhere else. This is not going to affect us. But here we are today, you know, uh, talking to each other uh, on a Zoom call uh, instead of, uh, you know, in a hall, you know, where we could have uh, been slapping one, uh, somebody at the back and saying, hey, how was your week? You know, so uh, this, uh, this is what VUCA is. Uh, it's the reality that uh, we are facing. There is there is uncertainty, there is complexity, there is ambiguity. And uh, 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 there are various factors, not just uh, uh, factors that are within my control, factors way beyond my control that can really uh, affect me. And so uh, how do we uh, tackle uh, a reality where we are in this you know, VUCA, VUCA world. How do we tackle this? So we tackle VUCA with VUCA. All right, what do I mean? Uh, there is a way. So for everything that uh, uh, we are facing right now, the uncertainty, the volatility, complexity, uh, you know, there are ways in which we can handle this. And, and the way we do that is with vision, understanding, courage, and ag agility or adaptability. Um, vision, what, what's vision? Uh, we need to develop the uh, ability to see through uh, the chaos and, and have a very clear vision for our lives and our career. Um, you know, you need to clarify to yourself, what is my mission? What, what are my values? And what is my way or, way or strategy? What, what's my strategy to, uh, to get there? So your strategy can be modified, but uh, your values and your vision, uh, that needs to be a little long-term. Uh, you know, you gotta spend some time thinking about that, uh, maybe days, maybe months, uh, take some time and create that clarity. So uh, when there are uncertain sit situations, this will be like a guiding light for you. Uh, so that'll, uh, you know, if, there are any, if there's anything that comes to uh, pull you off course, uh, you know, this will help you to stay the course. Uh, understanding, you know, uh, along with the vision in hand, you also need uh, a very good understanding of your capabilities and, uh, 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 you know, what, what, what you're good at, uh, you know, to take advantage of, uh, uh, you know, opinions that can help your own views. Um, uh, you know, uh, you got to, uh, 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 broaden the the sources where you get information from. Uh, you know, don't don't only listen to people who can uh, validate your views. Also, start to listen to the other side, uh, and uh, that can help you. Uh, you know, in in tackling these kind of situations. Thirdly, courage. Uh, you know, I can't emphasize. Uh, you know 
today where we stand the need for courage is is so much more so much greater than the decades that uh, that were earlier uh, we have a need to to step up our courage step up to the challenges uh, that uh, we are facing um you know when when, when there's criticism that uh, uh, you encounter uh, maybe in your career a certain decisions you made or even individually personally you know uh, you need to have the courage to uh, to stand uh, and take certain risks or uh, to meet uh, these challenges that are coming so you know there's some work that you need to do for, on yourself to build uh, this and the last is uh, agility or adaptability uh, and so personal agility uh, and making plans to cope with unforeseen scenes uh, uh, events uh, uh, that's very important uh, so that's another area that you know i'd encourage you to think about now uh, the, the second part uh, you know how do we respond uh, to pay cuts and, and layoffs so it's not just pay cuts and layoffs but but any any uncertainty that uh, comes to us uh, in our lives you know these are certain principles that you can use so you know in our lives there are there are a lot of things that concern us um and you know this uh, you see a circle there uh, which is all the things that concern us okay there are there are a lot of things in our lives uh, that's happening to us uh, and you know maybe it's uh, the economy uh, maybe there's pay cuts these layoffs but firstly i want to tell you that uh, you know when a company uh, does uh, makes decisions like this and you are uh, affected by that you know it's important for us not to take it personally uh, because the way we interpret uh, what happens to us is very very important and so i'm borrowing this model from stephen covey's book uh, seven habits of highly effective people uh, and you know he he calls this the circle of concern so all of us live in a circle of things that concern us uh, you know uh, jobs economy uh, layoffs things like that uh, when 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 we were in the thick of traffic traffic uh, uh, was a big concern for us uh, you know uh, now today it's not but there's always something or the other that that will concern us um you know in our company uh, we've more or less uh, the 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 uh, ceo and other seniors of the company have said that you know we are trying hard to retain everyone we don't want to send anyone out uh, during this time uh, but at that time people are thinking oh but what about uh, my increment you know there'll always be something that uh, that we aspire for or something something that concerns us uh, and as these are things that we can't do much about Uh, but if you dwell on this we can worry about it that's something that we can do now there is a smaller circle and that's called the circle of influence and so uh this uh, is this circle concerns uh, with the things that uh, that we can do something about so it's called the circle of influence for that reason okay uh okay so the things that you can do something about uh is is largely yourself okay me myself um uh, and so look at uh, what can you do to to better yourself uh, i think there's some disturbance uh, i don't know if everyone else is on mute uh okay yeah done now okay so what can you do uh for yourself okay what the thing that concerns uh, or the thing thing that you can influence the circle that you can influence what is that that's you yourself you know the 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 value that you bring look at the value that you offer to your current employer or maybe your prospective employee if you if you yet to join uh so these are your skills and expertise okay so what are the skills that you can pick up to increase your value 
okay uh, there are a lot of uh, courses that are available now online courses uh, uh, you know don't think that if you're out of college uh, your time of learning is over uh, you really need to continue learning uh, you know it's, it's something that uh, roshan also uh, uh, you know uh, reminds us in the worship team just because you have you've cleared an audition and you're in the worship team doesn't mean uh, you can sit uh, easy you know you still need to work on your skill right uh, do i hear an amen from yeah amen amen <laughs> amen <laughs> so yeah, so so uh, same in your workplace right i mean just because you have uh, studied something in college and and you have you've joined the workplace doesn't mean that you you've finished all your learning in fact uh, you need to keep uh, at, uh, keep in pace uh, with what's happening in the industry what's happening in in your particular uh, skill set you know what are the new trends that's happening and and always be on top of that talk to people uh, about these things so value the the value that you bring uh, that's uh, something that you can work on and the second part is the perception of that value okay uh, so uh, either you can create uh, increase your the personal value that you are offering to your employer or you can even increase the perception of that value to your employer okay what what do you mean what do i mean by perception of the value see uh, everything that we know uh, and that we you know uh, think is is valuable is not valuable unless we know how to present it well so that others can notice it and find it useful so improving our ability to to market ourselves whether whether you you're meeting someone in person or or, or you doing it digitally Uh, you know improving your ability to do that uh, is very very important it, it's as important as the value uh, that you're offering to uh, your employer uh, um, because we are in a growth ma- market and and there the scores of people around us uh, you know so uh, you have competition so improving your communication skills working on 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 these skills helps a lot and and uh, learn how to showcase your exper- uh, expertise uh you know depending on what skill it is there are various ways you can do this uh you know maybe uh, you can uh, you, you know if if it if it has to do with expressive writing uh, a kind of aspects or maybe even certain technical uh, skills you could display that on a blog or maybe if you create that uh, you know if you uh, uh, into digital content maybe it's the website that you're working on you know uh, having such things that you can showcase uh maybe you'll write a white paper if 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 your uh, your your trade is, is a very technical thing write a white paper which is you know easily shared to someone uh, and they can know uh, you know the the strength that you hold uh, or or if it's more of a creative uh, uh, field that you are in make a video about yourself uh, you, you don't you don't you don't have to upload it on youtube or whatever but uh, if it is it, it's quicker right is uh, to to share that with uh, someone so think about how is it uh, how which way you can showcase your expertise uh and 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 build a network okay so uh getting connected to people in your industry or people who are already in the roles that you aspire to uh speaking to them you know maybe you, you get connected to them through through another contact or maybe through a linkedin things like that and and getting connected and talking to them Uh, asking them about what's happening uh, in their industry uh, in your, in your industry you know the, the industry that you aspire to and uh, especially after a layoff uh, you know when you are interviewing for a position uh, people are interested to know what you have been doing during your downtime so being able to show that you have picked up some skill uh, that uh, you know something useful that makes you attractive for companies to hire that's uh, you know very very important uh the last thing is cast your bread upon many waters you know uh, uh, ship uh, uh, let me read the niv of this you know it says reads like this ship your grain across the sea after many days you will receive a return invest in seven ventures yes in eight you do not know what disaster may come upon the land um and so it's important for us to open up to new options as well 
you know, uh, uh, for example, tap into the gig economy. Okay, uh, you know, so maybe if you are, um, if you are laid off, you know, you, you can easily tap, tap into the gig economy. There are the sites like freelancer.com or guru.com. Um, uh, you know, the, these, these sites have freelance jobs in, in design, art, IT, writing, translating, finance, marketing, different kind of things. Let's see what works for you. Uh, you know, if you're specifically looking for people uh, work in IT, uh, Gigster is a is a is a great site. Uh, you know, if you're a creative kind of a person, uh, start a YouTube channel. Uh, you know, there are, there are various things you can do. Think about that and 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 look at how uh, you can. Uh, yeah. So uh, I just want to end uh, with that. Um, you know, this this we we know this verse that. All things work together for good uh, to those who love of God. So, if it's not yet good, it's not yet the end. So just hang in there, and uh, that's it from my side. I want to thank you for this opportunity. Just hand it back to you, Roshan. Hey, thanks, Bhaneja. Um Thank you so much uh, for those insights. Um, let's not delay, and I want to uh, just uh, welcome Jean to uh, take over. Jean, who is uh, Benicia's wife, uh, and uh, it's an honor to have you. Over to you, Jean. Thank you. Uh, guys, you know what scares me most? That most of you all are on mute and the videos are off. So I have no clue whether we have lulled you to sleep or, uh, you know, this is the beginning of a uh, good night. So if some of you can get your videos on and just say hello, I know that you're not there. Yeah, okay, that's. So I know that some of y'all are awake, wonderful. <laughs> okay, great. So um, I'm taking over from a bit of what, from what um, uh, Benny spoke about, but then I, I am driving it a lot more home, a lot more to what we may be going through internally. So um, I just want to speak about a very crucial aspect of our feelings and our emotions at an uh, unprecedented time, uh, such as this as we're going through. Um, I don't know. I don't know about you, but the last uh, 50 days uh, has been emotionally very, very. Um, you know, it's been a roller coaster for me personally because of a lot of things that uh, you know have been happening in my world, in my work, in my home. And uh, I, I know of course, for certain that that's probably something that a lot of us are going through. You know, if you look in the Bible, um, Job 5.7 says this. It says, every person alive will have trouble. And uh, this is Eliphaz uh, saying these words to comfort Job. You know, it's so easy to agree with him at this point of time because it is a really hard fact of human experience. And uh, very surprisingly, we are all faced with something that has really made history. And trouble has come to us all at the same time uh, to the entire world. You know, it's very spooky. Um, but, uh, but I think what we need to understand is there are many areas of our lives that have been impacted as a result of what has happened right now. So it can be our physical health. So for most of us, we look at the scale, we are probably five to 10 kgs on the minimum higher. Okay, we've lost our exercise, we've lost our good looks, uh, we've, got, we've got a lot of hair on the head. And for the men, I, you know, I, I, I really um, empathize with you all because I have two men in the house. We have to use a scissor and a razor to get half photos on their head away. And they look ghastly for the first few days that it happened. Right, so it affects us. <laughs> no, I didn't do the job. My, my daughter did the job. So I guess that was it. <laughs> right, so, um, you know, it affects us. It, it's probably affected our career. It's affected our academics. Those of you who are in college, there's been a hard uh, stop on things. It affects our relationships. It's been affecting our walk with God. And also it affects the way that we feel and we think and we we just emote. So um, I think some of these aspects of our well-being, like our physical health, our intellectual health, uh, are areas that that we can focus because we can work on certain tangible things to enhance that area of well-being. But something like our uh, uh, emotional health, 
you know, is, is something that's get, that gets pushed away to the corner and it gets very sidetracked because it's something that's more personal, it's something that's more internal, uh, it's something within us and something that's not very easily seen by others. We can very clearly, you know, uh, just mask a lot of our emotions. But I think addressing this is absolutely foundational for, for, the, for our well-being of our souls. Um, so for the last couple of days, couple of months, there's been uncertainty. And uh, this, this pandemic has heightened the uncertainty over the economy, our employment, our finances, our relationships, even our mental health. So, you know, as human beings, we really crave for that security. We want to be safe. We want to have a sense of control over our lives and, and ourselves. So what does fear and uncertainty do? It, it creates stress, it creates anxiety, a sense of powerless, powerlessness over the direction of our lives. And it just drains us so emotionally that we get trapped in this downward spiral of what if scenarios, you know, what if something goes wrong? And uh, we, we're always thinking of the worst scenarios about what tomorrow may bring about. Um, so what I want to do, and this is part of what um, I did, also did for the um, Christian Workers uh, Conference, but I thought it, it's, it's really insightful because I want to take a, a passage from the Bible and just bring that up. So first of all, let me just establish that, uh, that during an unexpected situation like this that we are going through, it is normal to feel the way that we're feeling, to feel stressed, to be anxious, to worry, to fear. It's a part of us being human. That's how God made us. And it is a natural response to an unfamiliar situation like this. So our emotions such as anxiety or fear or boredom, it's only, a, it's only the body's reaction to any change that requires an adjustment. But however, if we allow this to keep working on within us, of course, we are going to deal with a lot more of issues. So um, what we're going to really look at is we're just going to look at scripture to see um, you know, that the very clear example of David in Psalm 31, you know, what, what he was going through. So uh, I'm just going to be taking you through that. I'll just uh, share my screen um, just so that you can have a look. Okay. So um, I think... Um, yeah, so this, this example is from, from the Bible. We see it in Psalm 31. And this is, David is the one who's written this. And he's probably written this when uh, Absalom, his son, came to Jerusalem with the intent of killing him. You know, I think we find it really easy to place various realities uh, in this psalm into the situation that, uh, that we see in David's life. So if you look in, uh, in David's life, um, we see... First of all, if you look through uh, verses from 31, uh, 1 to 8, you have to probably read that later. Uh, we see that for him, stress has produced a gamut of emotions. And so it, it's not surprising if David went through those emotions, we are no less. Okay, uh, Even the most godly of people do go through, that, through those emotions. So we need to understand that, uh, that all because we trust in the Lord, it does not insulate us from these roller coasters of emotions that hit us when we face these kind of stressful situations. Um, and I think sometimes we believe that uh, you know the secret of resting when we rest in the Lord, we will be perfectly calm in the midst of any of these trials. But we need to know that uh, it is a normal it is a normal experience, and uh, that our emotions. When, when we have these emotions, it does not mean that we lack in our spiritual life, we lack in our faith, or we lack in, in our zeal for the Lord. You know, if you look at uh, David here, he was not a spiritual novice at this point of time. He was a man after God's own heart. Yet, even through this, uh, you know, you see the emotions he's going through. Uh, yet, what he does, and I'm on to the first point, is that he keeps his mind steady on this one truth, this one constant and one very one confidence that he has is affirming who God is. So you, know, you see it in that verse that says, God, you're my rock, you're my refuge, my fortress of defense. And he knows absolutely for sure, no matter what is happening around him, he brings to remembrance all that he knows about God and his nature. 
So he continues to strengthen his heart. He acknowledges the reality of God's omniscience. And he, he knows that God is there no matter what the stress and the situation is. So even through this time, as we are going through all of what we are, maybe your situations are very different. Um, the one thing that you can focus on, the one thing that is constant is that God is our refuge and our strength. He is the one who has redeemed us. He is the one who is our defense. So that's how we calm these, you know, the, the, these kind of emotions that, that we, may be, we may be having. The next thing that uh, uh, David does is if you look at Psalm 31 verses 9 to 13, he begins to acknowledge all his emotions. You know, if you look through the entire, th those verses, uh, he, he, expresses, um, uh, he expresses that he's afraid. He, he says, uh, even, you can even feel the panic in his voice as he's crying out to God to rescue him quickly and pull him out of, you know, the net that he's in. He states that he's in distress. He's overwhelmed with sorrow and he sighs and he grieves. And these emotions are so strong that it seems to be even affecting him physically, making him just completely waste away. He's even feeling rejected. You look at verse 11, it says he feels rejected even by his friends. He feels so useless as a broken vessel. So these were normal emotions and this was not a reflection of his character or his faith. He was just being honest and open to God. And I think that's what we need to do. In our prayer closet, just go up to God and just, you know, give it a free flow. Just to express to him what is it that we are feeling. Because that's exactly what we are to do um, as we come into his presence. The next thing um, that David does in Psalm 31, 14 to 18 is um, he guards, he takes, makes a choice to guard his thoughts. You know, it's very easy to get into, like I said, these what-if scenarios and go down uh, these negative thoughts. It's important for us to capture these thoughts, capture these thoughts of anxiety and fear and begin to really proactively replace these thoughts with, with peace and hope. So here you see David, uh, you know, bringing these thoughts into captive and he says, Lord, I, I trust in you, O oh God. I express my confidence in you in these time, times of need. So whatever your racing thoughts may be, take it to God. Uh, uh, understand, become aware of what you are thinking because what you think is what you become, right? So use that time to, to uh, consciously tell yourself of how you trust in a God who's greater than your circumstance. The fourth thing that David does is, um, you know, he builds a gratitude list. So gratitude is something, is a, is, is a very important quality for us to see the best in, in things and uh, you know, be thankful about a lot of things. Now, uh, often studies have shown the more that we are grateful, the more our mental health gets better, the more our, our moods are better, our coping gets better. So if you see in what, what David did, he actually talks about the goodness and the marvelous kindness of God in verses 19 to 22. So my, um, uh, you know, my challenge to you is sit down every day, write down at least two, three things that you are absolutely grateful for, for what you have, um, have for yourself, how, how God has been merciful to you, even at this time when things are so uncertain around. The last thing that he does is um, he focuses mainly outward rather than, than inward. So what does he do? He takes a conscious effort to focus on the needs of other people. He takes that conscious effort of how he could be a blessing to a community. So it definitely goes a long way in strengthening your emotional mind. More than being so focused on who you are, just taking a look at the needs of others actually brings about a lot of peace. And that's exactly what David did. So if you look in, in the verse, in, on, in verse 23, he becomes a testimony to others and he encourages others to love the Lord. So when, as he does that, you know, he himself gets encouraged. And of course, the last verse, which I think is the most beautiful one, uh, where, where even in the midst of the greatest uncertainty, um, we know that through all the emotional mayhem that we are going through, we will definitely be overcome, uh, overcomers because of the instruction that he gives us. You know, he, he gives us a command. He says, cheer up. He says, take courage. Wait for him to break through for you, all who trust in him. And each of us belong to that, that, that kingdom of God where, where we are under, under his protection, under his, his view, under his lordship. 
So, you know, we, we, we encourage our hearts to take courage and just know that he will break through for us and, and, and we can come out through this victorious as overcomers. Uh, I just bless each one of you and I, and I just continue to pray that uh, God strengthens your heart no matter what your situation is, that you will continue to wait over him and he will break through to you. Thank you. Over to you, Roshan. Hey, thanks, Jean. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, Birita, um, is it okay if I'm, I'm going to ask you to just pray for us, uh, you know, for all the working professional students, um, um, you know, yeah, just lead us uh, in prayer as, you're, as you feel led. And uh, yeah, and then we'll close. Sure. sure. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this evening. I, I thank you, Lord, for each one of us uh, who connected on this call. Thank you, Lord, for Lord your heart towards us. Lord, we we come to you, Lord, as we are with uh, uh, with our thoughts, with our fears, uh, Lord, with uh, the 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 reality that uh, is around us, O oh God, we, we come to you, Lord. And, and, and Father, we ask that you speak to us, O oh Lord, you calm us, O oh Lord, with, with your love, you quiet us with your love. And Father, that uh, you pour out your courage into us. Father, I, I just want to declare your strength and your, the, your enabling grace uh, over each one of us uh, who've joined today. Uh, Father, even, even those who were, who were unable to join this, uh, this evening, I, I just declare your empowering grace over them, uh, Lord, to, to, to make bold decisions, to make, uh, uh, Lord, uh, the, the nasty decisions uh, that, that can influence our lives, that can give us a vision Oh Lord, the, the decisions that can uh, help us stay the course, oh God. Father, I, I pray especially for those in the workplace. Oh God, uh, uh, Lord, we, we just cast down every, uh, 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 every uncertainty, oh God, that, uh, that's affecting us. Lord, we just cast that and uh, we know the one in, in whom we have trusted. And so we just entrust ourselves your unfailing love, oh God, and we, and we pray, uh, oh God, that uh, you fill us with your courage. Father, even as uh, uh, people uh, are thinking about their skills and, and, uh, and Lord, uh, how they can improve, Father, I, I pray, Lord, that you open up their, uh, their hearts uh, and their minds to, to, uh, to know what steps to take. Lord, uh, during this time, how to get prepared for the future. Uh, and Father, I just, uh, uh, I just bless them, O oh God, uh, even as they do this. Uh, I speak your encouragement over them, O oh Lord. During the times that they feel uh, uh, weary, O oh God, I just speak your encouragement over them. Thank you for this, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. You, you are surely doing this, even now. We praise you, Father, for this. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I, mean, I just want to pray for you and uh, Jean. Um, just want to say, uh, I want to say thank you, Cha. Thank you, uh, Benita and Jean. Uh, you know, uh, not just for this session, but uh, for as a couple, what you mean to the church and for everything that you've been doing for the church. Uh, you know, um, and as, especially in this context, uh, I'm just reminded of uh, this passage in, in Exodus where. Uh, Joshua and his, I mean, there's a war against the Amalekites and, uh, and Moses is up in a hill praying. Uh, but when Joshua is losing, the reinforcement is not sent to Joshua, but it's sent to Moses who's praying up in the mountain. Uh, and as he lifts his hands up. So there's this, this unity of an, a Moses generation or like a father's generation and a younger generation, like a Joshua generation that comes together so that we can win our war. Um, so thank you for being, uh, you know, for interceding. Uh, you know, standing in the gap for us. Uh, we can't win our battles on our own, but it's, you know, we are so grateful for uh, 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 
in a symbolic way, like a Moses generation that stands in the gap for us. Uh, so thank you for that. And let's just, yeah, come on guys, let's just come in agreement. Uh, let's just bless, uh, bless Benita and Jean uh, right now, wherever you are. Okay, Father, uh, we thank you uh, for, for Benita and Jean, Lord. We thank you for what their lives uh, mean uh, to us. We thank you for everything that they've been doing, uh, Lord, in serving the church and in every area, Lord, and just making themselves available for, uh, for so many programs and events and just, uh, you know, just showering us with their wisdom and their insight, Lord. Uh, we thank you. We bless their family, Lord. We bless the works of their hands. I pray that their household will be blessed, Jesus. Everybody who steps into their house, Father, will not leave the same. And I pray that they will all encounter your manifest presence in their house. I pray that they will go back with a heart overflowing with, with the joy of heaven, with the peace of heaven, with the love of heaven, Father. I bless them. I bless their children. Uh, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much you. once again. Uh, thanks, guys, everybody, for taking the time out uh, for, you know, not even uh, having your dinner and joining us. Uh, you know, we do this for you, okay? Just remember that, okay? All of this, we do it for you guys. Um, so we meet every Friday at 9 p.m. Um, make time, uh, you know, put it on your calendar and uh, join us every week. All right, God bless you all. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Uh, wait, 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 wait. And uh, some of you all. <laughs> uh, hey, Manny, just go ahead and say hi, no, Manny, please. Just, just say hi, please. Hi. Okay, that's Manny. Okay, if you can't see her on your screen, swipe to the left or to the right until you see oh, her. God. Okay. Um, so, hey, ladies, uh, she started a life group. Okay, and they meet on Zoom. Uh, if you'd like to know more about it and if you want to get connected, you know what? I encourage you to get connected uh, with this, uh, you know, ladies' uh, life group. It's uh, awesome. Awesome things are happening. And uh, why don't you join? And uh, some of you all, I'll see you all tomorrow uh, for the Genesis quiz two and three. I hope you all are all ready. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no, there's not going to be any auto call this time, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, wait one second. There's a question. Are we allowed to be part of the two life groups? Yes, Jerusha. Yeah, <laughs> you can be. It's uh, um, what about Jen's life group? Okay, Sushil, you want to go say hi? Hi, hi. Is that you have to cut the base in uh, <laughs> hi, hi. So that's social uh, you know he has a life group going on uh, that meets on zoom every Thursday right social yeah every Thursday at like 8 30 okay all right hey, if you go if you want these details uh, just feel free to ping me and I'll, I'll, I'll send you the details all right uh, ladies don't forget I want to encourage you all to just make uh, you know join these life groups okay that's about it uh, good night thank you once again for joining bye Thank you, Cha. Thank you, Jean Thank, you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, see you guys. Bye. Manny, good job, Manny. I'm hearing a lot of amazing things about life group. Thanks, yeah. I guess you can full BP only. It's cool, it's cool. It's all, it's all, it's all peace. <laughs> when do you guys start, Manny? It's only been, we've only, so this month, all of this month. Yeah. How's it going? Who all, who all are coming, by the way? About 10 girls. Whoa. Whoa. Like 11 actually. Yeah, but a lot of them I've never even seen or met before. So it's really like ch challenging and nice also for me. Mm, nice, nice. Yeah. Awesome. I have uh, Madam Sanjana, which is why everything is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Are you guys doing good? Everybody? We removed the other people. <laughs> Oh. Huh? Yeah, bro. I removed it. <laughs> Did you actually? Yeah, the... That's crazy, dude. The whole like, our, faces, our faces were like.
Ya, yeah, well, hey. <laughs> hey Manny, there's already a girl asking how do I join the live group? Are so that. This is going to be you have to have two live groups, two servers. Two services, correct. <laughs> Still coming for your title, bro. What? what? Join join us uh, join us on Thursday or join us on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Get two slots. <laughs> Come on, man. You know what? I think this is the way to go forward, dude. I mean, it's true. Chuck it. Chuck all the physical meetings. All it's going to happen when it happens. <laughs> You know, but then uh, get these guys, get them equipped. Uh, yeah, but Roshan, you can see seventy-two, seventy-four people, I think, at some point. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sixty-four, right? I saw sixty-six. No, no, no. I saw seventy at one point. And also came yeah. down, like fluctuating yeah. between sixty and seventy. Like, because of the video, I think, even though that, like, like, like it, that video that the promo that you did. Yo, you know what? I'm still recording the session. Just hold on to that thought, okay?